Hi, good morning everybody. How are you? How was the day yesterday? I hope you have done some homework or groundwork in mathematics yesterday because Mr. Halesh was there and uh, Mrs. Geeta Bankar was there. They had given wonderful orientation yesterday. One is about social science, another one is in mathematics. Today, again, an experiment. A thorough gentleman with an expertise in mathematics, an NCC officer. And remember, dear children, he is the person who organized all these things, who prepared WhatsApp group for ninth class and who prepared WhatsApp group for 10th class. And because of that, we are interacting today. And he is none other than Mr. Prabhu R. He is not an ordinary person. You see his qualification. MSc MA. So therefore, he is very eager to give you the briefing session about mathematics. What is the, the model of the question paper, blueprint of the question paper, and also how to write the answers for the questions given in the examinations. He is coming with a lot of knowledge and he is pondering on you. Be ready for this. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hi, everyone. As sir told, it is my privilege and proud to share you all my experience. Dear children, today I am here to give a brief syllabus content about 10th class mathematics of CBSE. Let us start now. Firstly, the objectives. Here, before going to any subject, we must understand the concept, aim and its objects. So let's all discuss about the objectives. The objectives, the broad objectives were given here of teaching of mathematics at secondary stage are to help out the learner, that is consolidate the mathematical knowledge and skills acquired at the upper primary stage and acquire knowledge and understanding particularly by way of motivation and visualization of basic concepts, terms, principles and symbols and various uh, types of theorems underlying the process and skills. And also one more main object to develop mastery of basic algebra skills and as well as develop drawing skills. Next. In the same way, we will continue the objects feel the flow of reason while providing a result or solving a problem. Yes. Nowadays, it is very important to know mathematics is not a only consisting a problem. It involves various concepts with various activities. The learner must learn the activities or the concept with playing also so that here uh, we try to give you the concept along with the activities in these onwards. And the next one, apply the knowledge and skills acquired to solve them. Problems, wherever it is possible. Of course, in our daily life, we are solving so many problems. Whether it is daily life related or curriculum related. So that's why we should think that mathematics, it is not a special subject. It is our common subject as well as our daily life subject. So that to develop ability to think, analyze and articulate logically. To develop awareness of the need for the national integration, protections of environment, observations or some small family norms, removal of social barriers, eliminations of gender bias. So these are the main objects, objectives it involves in the mathematics curriculum. The CBSC board prescribed these, all these objectives. So next, in this, also develop the necessary skills to work with the modern technology. Of course, nowadays teaching, it is not a one way. Of course, teaching and technology, both are involved together. That should be very helpful to the stu students, especially children. Okay. To develop the interest in mathematics as a problem-solving tool in various fields for its beautiful structure and 
patterns etc of course our mathematics curriculum involves various designs in which we can study uh, we can learn some of the structures and as well as their syllabus contents to develop reverence and respect towards great mathematicians of course it is our proud and uh, we should we should remember the contributions the great mathematics mathematics mathematicians as well as contributors okay to the field of mathematics now come to the curriculum in this okay next here now i am giving the marking scheme of each units the 10th syllabus contain all these units especially seven main units in this uh, mathematics curriculum first one is number system had six marks algebra have 20 marks coordinate geometry six marks geometry for 15 marks trigonometry 12 marks mensuration 10, 10 marks statistics and probability unit number seven contains 11 marks totally it is 80 marks now we have come to the syllabus exact curriculum which is prescribed by the cbsc to the 2000 this 20 and 21 first unit here units in the seven major units the first unit contains number systems in which the first lesson real numbers as you know real numbers before that number system number system contains six major types of the numbers that is natural number integers rational number irrational number and real number all and whole number also so all these numbers involved gives to the number systems in this also we are already learned in the previous classes all these number kinds of number systems but this year especially we can learn about the real numbers in real number which are the concepts involved euclid division lemma fundamental theorem of arithmetic statements in which you know that we have to derive the formula and as well as we can apply the formula to find the hcf and lcm of the given numbers and after reviewing that work we have after illustrating some of the problems and motivating through examples here we should motivate the examples as well as proofs of the irrationality of decimal representations of rational numbers for example for the rational numbers square root 2 pi square root 3 all these numbers comes under irrational numbers in the rational numbers or integers or the exp expandable numbers after terminating and non terminating recurring decimals it should be explained in the class in the next next unit number 2 it is meant for algebra in which polynomials it contains 7 periods how to complete zeros of a polynomial relationship between the zeros and coefficients of quadratic polynomials statement and problems on division algorithm on division algorithm for polynomials with real coefficients dear students we learned in the previous classes that is polynomials and its types in which we studied also how to factorize the given polynomials but this year we are going to uh, study about the how to find the coefficients of the quadratic polynomials statement and simple problems based on the polynomials next <clears throat> next the pair of linear equations in two variable as one of the another lesson which is already studied in the previous classes but this year it is extend, extendable syllabus here pair of equations it is contained about 15 periods to be yet to be complete pair of linear equations in two variables and the graphical method of their solutions consistence or inconsistency consistency and inconsistency word are used here algebraic conditions for number of solutions solutions of pair of linear equations in two variables algebraically by substitution method by elimination 
and by cross multiplication there are three more major methods to find the pair of linear equations and simple situational problems it happens in our daily life so many situations are occurs with the relevant to that we should solve the problems based on the some situational problems in simple problems on equations reducible to linear equations daily situations can be converted into next linear equations the next here the next chapter and fourth chapter quadratic equation as you know the equations can be classified as polynomials in the same way second most type of the polynomial is quadratic equation also after simple simple equation next comes to the quadratic equation so the quadratic equation involves 15 periods it to be completed in 15 periods firstly we should study about in this concept that is standard form of quadratic equation standard form of quadratic equation of course uh, here they mentioned a, a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 okay it is a uh, quadratic equation standard form for simple equation or linear equation it is a x plus c is equal to 0 where the powers of x is 1 here powers of x is 2 that is why it is standard form of quadratic equation and their solutions of quadratic equations only on real roots by factorization method and by using quadratic formula relationship between the discriminant and nature of the roots situational problems based on quadratic equation related to day to day activities to be incorporated here they specifically they mentioned that here our daily situations are also useful to calculate the problems in quadratic equations next in the next slide we show fifth chapter that is one of the uh, kind of number system arithmetic progressions okay here it takes only eight periods motivation for studying how to study for arithmetic progression as well as derivations that you know there are various formulas or terms first n term number of terms next sum of the terms according to this formulas for example an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d another one is this is nth term of an ap next one is sn sum of the terms can be calculated by using the formula sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d and hence for here nth term and the sum of the first n terms of ap should be discussed in this chapter and their applications in solving daily life problems okay, next here the next chapter that is unit number 3 the chapter name here i mentioned sixth because it is one in the unit number third but as per the hierarchy it is sixth in two dimensions lines you know that there are kinds of the lines but here it is comes under coordinate geometry that is why lines it is specially uh, designed the concept is designed under coordinate geometry that is why here graphs of linear equations can be used to calculate the distance okay the distance formula by using the distance formula as well as section formula internal divisions and as well as area of a triangle here also area of a triangle and area of a polygons can be calculated by using all these formulas next the next uh, unit that is geometry part and the seventh chapter i think it is visible triangles of course you are all familiar with this uh, geometrical concept based on your previous knowledge that is lines and angles as well as triangles here all these triangle concept involving definitions this is basic needs one definitions examples as well as counter examples of similar triangles here comes a similar triangle congruency of the triangles as well as similar triangles the major difference as well as their problem should be discussed in this chapter okay here we should prove some of the theorems are also here uh, the line 
drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides distinct points in the same way in two triangles the corresponding angles are equal their corresponding uh, sides or proportional to the triangles are similar as well as if one angle of a triangle is equal to the one angle of another triangle yes all these concept involved based on the criteria postulates of the triangles you know that some postulate yes 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 triple s i mean s s s s a s a s a a or h s or h s means right hypotenuse side by pythagoras theorem okay next this involves nine major concept in the triangle chapter the next comes our chapter number 8 circles it involves eight periods it requires eight periods to complete here circles means you know that all the basics of the circles so after that we are going to learn here tangent to a circle at the point of contact you know the tangent and its meaning should be discussed in the classes okay you know firstly we have to prove the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact and second one is to prove the lengths of an tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal here two major uh, problems can be solved based on these two proving the theorems we have to prove the theorems next in the next slide based on this geometrical idea we must go to the ninth chapter that is construction in the construction division of line segment in a given ratio division of line segments in a given ratio internally and tangents to a circle from a point outside of it and the third one is construction of a triangle similar to a given triangle of course these constructions involve several steps according to this concept we have to discuss their steps as well as constructions next and here comes our unit number 5 this is trigonometry especially this is trigonometry the 10th chapter here i mentioned the 10th chapter introduction to trigonometry this chapter involves basics of trigonometry as well as extended problems on trigonometrical ideas that is trigonometric ratios of an acute angle of a right angle triangle you know that kinds of angle kinds of triangle in which we can study the trigonometric ratios also there are more than 20 formulas related to the trigonometric relations in which proof of their existence when defined motivate the ratios whichever are defined at 0 degree and as well as 90 degree values of the trigonometric ratios of 30 degree sorry it is 30 degree and 45 degree and as well as 60 degree correct it please 30 degree 45 degree and 60 degree relationship between the ratios relationship between the ratio this should, these are all the concepts should be discussed in the introduction to trigonometry next next one is also related to trigonometry that is trigonometric identities just i told that there are more than 20 uh, ratios are coming under the trigonometric identities. These are the identities. Proof and applications of the identity that is major identity sin a plus 2 cos 2 cos 2 a is equal to 1. And only simple identities, maybe 5 to 6 identities can be used more here in the topic of the trigonometric identities. Trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. You know that the complementary angles, supplementary angles, sum of the two angles measures equal to 90 degrees complementary, sum of the two angles measures equal to 180 degrees that is called supplementary. Based on that, we have to apply the trigonometric ratios and their identities and we have to solve the problems. Next. The next chapter that is 12th, it is related to heights and distance, angle of elevations and angle of depressions one more uh, topic related to the trigonometry simple problems on heights and distances as well as our daily situations are also applied over here problem should not involve 
more than two right and two right triangles two right triangles angles of elevation or depression should be only 30 degree 45 degree and as well as 60 degree okay next and the unit number 6 mensuration as you know mensuration involves various concept especially mensuration involves the major concepts like area volume perimeter or perimeter area and value in the same way here uh, we are going to discuss about uh, the areas related to circles first okay it involves 12 periods at least it required 12 periods motivate the areas of circle here we have to motivate the uh, areas and its basic circles area of sector and segments of circle problems based on areas and perimeter yes here segments and as well as perimeters are used to calculate several problems circumference of the above said plane in the planar figure if a circle is given we know that already how to calculate the perimeter area and circumference of the circle but here the said plane involves in calculating area of segment of a circle problem should be restricted to the central angles like 60 degree 90 degree and as well as 180 degree so only these three kinds of angles are restricted and to be studied plane figures involving the triangles and simple quadrilaterals and circle should be taken oh, next and the fourth 14 chapter the surface areas and value as i told already the area and values comes now surface area and values here we have to discuss majorly lsa and uh, surface area and values surface area and values combinations of any two of the following yes you know that already uh, the cubes cuboids spheres as well as hemispheres before this in your previous classes we are already studied uh, the two dimensional as well as three dimensional figures related to their uh, areas and values especially you know that cube and cuboids also in two dimensional figures squares rectangles and different kinds of poly polygons as well as quadrilaterals in the same way here also we can study about this uh, all these uh, three dimensional figure and its right circular cylinder cone as well as cylinder cone and frustum of a cone next the problems involving converting one type of metallic solid into another and other mixed problems here suppose we we are uh, taking the examples like a uh, sm small solids which are combined together makes one major solid based on this problems we have to solve the converting metallic solid into another mixed problems the problems with combination of not more than two different solids be taken here we have to take on only two different solids i'll come to the next and the last unit unit number seven here it is unit number seven that is statistics and probability yes in our daily life we are familiar with all these aspects in the curriculum they are prescribed it is exactly statistics mean median and mode of a grouped data as you know in our 8th standard and uh, uh, previous classes we are already known about the mean median mode how to calculate the mean median and mode mean is an average median is an exact middle most score mode is a repeated score based on these uh, definitions we have to study uh, one more uh, higher uh, extended problems based on these three measures of central tendencies these mean median modes are said to be measures of central tendencies here bimodal situation to be avoided cumulative frequency of the graph here graphical representation as you know bar graph and pie graph based on this we have to study one more graphs already in the ninth class we have studied in the same way cumulative frequency how to find the 
cumulative frequency by using the graphical method. The next another concept, major concept, it is probability. Occurrence, especially this is called as occurrence. It means expected result or outcomes. That is classical definitions of the probability. Simple problems on finding the probability of event. Okay, these are all the basic concept uh, which are involved in the uh, curriculum of the 10th CBSC class. Next, here it involves the question paper design. Everyone must understand the concept, what is the word prescribed the design and its grouping. Okay, here mathematics, uh, here in the, in the 2019 and 20 onwards, we are studying mathematics as two aspects like basic and as well as standard. Here firstly, standard, the standard paper, so what is the typology of the question? Here it is given, given that the basic skills, remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing and evaluating and verifying. All these criteria involving the question papers, designing as well as the marks are given according to. Here the first area, remembering and understanding involves 48 marks as well as applying, analyzing and evaluating. This involves 19 marks and as well as creating as well as evaluating part involves 18 marks. Totally it is 18 marks. The percentage of the weightage are 54, 24, 22 and as well as 100. It is given in the question paper design. Next. Next one is basic question paper design. So this is the basic question paper design of class 10th in uh, 2020 and 21. Now we look over here. Remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, as well as creating. So these are all the major uh, typology of the questions involved here. This is about 60 marks, 12 marks, 8 marks. 60 marks are related to remembering, understanding, as well as applying. Yes, students are not much worried about uh, only critical thinking questions are asking. So, here we can understand the concept as well as the question paper design. Then we can easily uh, prepare our the study materials. Based on this, that is the internal assessments are given as you know already 20 marks internal and 80 marks is the theoretical part. It involves pen and paper test as well as portfolio and as well as your notes as well as your activities are involved in the 20 marks. And that should end your curriculum as well as discussion of this class.